hi i'm back and i'm going to do another blackberry recipe so this time i'm going to do a um blackberry syrup um i was asked why i do blackberry wine with my blackberries all the time and well the answer is i like wine um but i will make a non-alcoholic blackberry syrup um which my grandchildren then can drink um so you can make it as a juice with water, dilute it, use it as a juice, but you can also pop it into cocktails. Um, you can put it on cakes, hot chocolates, all sorts. So, so many different uses for your blackberry syrup. So it's dead easy, two ingredients. It just takes a bit of time. So about a week uh, to develop. So um, let's get to it. So here we go. Uh, I've got a two litre jar here, um, a Kilner jar. Now, you need a little bit of room for the blackberries to um, move around. So I've got 500 grams of blackberries. I did try it with a bigger amount of blackberries. I tried a, a kilo of blackberries um, and it didn't really work. It made a bit of a mess. So you need equal parts of blackberries and sugar. So 500 grams of blackberries, 500 grams of granulated sugar. Um, and then we need a vessel to put it in afterwards once it's done. But that, you can wait a week for that. That's not a problem. If you like any other products here, then I've got a link in the description box that you can click on to buy them. So. Here we go, nice and simple. We're just gonna pop the blackberries without trying to, to get them on the floor. Pop those in there. Ooh. Make sure everything's clean, obviously. Your worktop so that if you uh, do drop any on the worktop, that you can just pop them back in afterwards. There we go. Ooh. There we go. Those have obviously been cleaned and uh, dried. So now they're in, I'm going to add the sugar. Obviously, it's easier with a nice wide necked jar. Um, Don't want to rush and then get it everywhere. There we go. There we go. Okay, so just pop the, the lid on and I'm literally going to just mix it up slightly. I've got a stray blackberry back there. Not to worry. So all you do now is leave it. Leave it for a week. All those sugars are going to extract the juice um, and then the juice will obviously mix with the, the sugar and make the syrup. So we'll come back to it in a bit. Hi, we're back doing the blackberry syrup. Um, it's been a couple of days and I've just left it to sit. Um, and you can see how much juice has been extracted by the um, sugar. So I'm just gonna give it a quick stir so that we can get some of those sugars mixed in. So we're back. Uh, I'm happy with the amount of uh, liquid that's come out of the fruit. So we're just going to drain it now. So just pop that there. 
We've got my muslin. There we go. And literally just get rid of all the, the nasties, all the bits and pieces that um, we didn't pick out. There we go. So just strain it through. I'm going to squeeze as much as I can out. There was a little bit of sugar left at the bottom, but I'm not too worried about that. The less sugar we can get in there, the better. There we go. Now, I'm not sure that the amount of syrup I've got will fill the bottle up, but we'll see. There we go. And then we're just going to, now it's all nicely strained, we're going to fill our bottle up. So later on I will do some recipes with the syrup, some cocktail recipes, but it's really nice just to have this with some water, some fizzy water, like you would a squash. Um, in fact, I did do a batch uh, a week or so ago, which I have none left because my youngest has been drinking it all. So uh, there you go. Like I said, not quite enough to fill up a whole bottle but um i have got a second batch on the go so that will uh, fill that one up if you like anything any of the products just click the links and um watch for some more recipes please click subscribe and um, i'll see you again soon